Like anyone, when I saw I got exclusive access to the Off-White 50 Dunks, I was ecstatic. Then I unboxed them and I saw that I got Lot 7 and I love the colorway, but there was this indescribable constant voice in my head that I should do more with these. I've always been intrigued by materials on sneakers and the story behind them, so this is really just the perfect storm in a sense. The idea to edit the off-white 50 dunk when I saw other people making their edits online and I thought it was something that I could do too. Uh, so I hit up G-Pack because ever since I've known him when we were in college, I knew that he was a talented artist and quite frankly, he's the only person that I would trust to do something like this. Uh, my name is G-Pack. I'm an artist based in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I've known John for many years and when he came to me with this sneaker idea, it sounded crazy at first. I've never really worked with leather and suede and canvas, but it was an honor to just take my spin on it and get creative. Favorite part of the redesign process, the first initial die, you know what I mean? Holding these super rare, super limited pieces and dumping them into a giant tub of boiling purple water is probably one of the craziest and scariest things I've probably done in 2022. So that initial color change and watching the colors change as each minute passes, when do I take it out? How long do I leave it in? It's just exhilarating. So it was amazing. So with the Japanese plum tree, I feel like that was an ode to my earlier work while also combining his personal story. And I just love how the detail came out. I love how the brush strokes came out. And it was just a great project. Then as we're discussing ideas for the shoes, we found out the tragic news of Virgil Abloh's death. And I think his, his death really put it into perspective for me, the story I wanted to tell with these shoes, a story of family, a story of the dignity of simplicity. Virgil was an icon to the culture and anyone that's interested in fashion and shoes knows that. My name is Wayne Johnson, owner of Tap In Kicks. I specialize in sneaker news, early looks, and release dates. The name Tap In, it comes from me wanting to be a part of the sneaker community. I wanted to tap in and give back as much as I can. And as you can see, I think you should tap in. Virgil was a beast, man. You know, starting back in 2017 with the 10 and then doing different variations of the colors of the 10, um, you know, doing the lot 50 of the dunk. Inspiration um, to the sneaker culture will continue to live on. First inspired by him when I seen the work he did with the Yeezus cover and how he introduced such a minimal design with just these bold color of red and abstract shapes and just letting things that naturally already exist collab with his minimal artistic approach. Look at my pieces, you will see random red accents everywhere. And you probably always will, because to me that was so mind blowing. Virgil joined LV or Louis Vuitton, as many might know, as a creative director. He put out designs and color combinations that no designer had ever tried before. He showcased designs that represented him as a person. Rest in peace, Virgil. You know, who would have thought 50 dunks, right? And, you know, the different colorations and the different tones of colors and the different leathers, you know, he, he, he was just out of his mind creating that 50. There are fine lines because something that might look good on a painting might not look good on a shoe and vice versa. So for me, it was trying to figure out like, how can I meet John's sneaker style with my art style, with also something that we would both wear? So you know, there's 50 versions of the off-white dunk, but you know, I'm happy to say that I have a one of one. No one else in the world has this shoe. And doing this edit, it's it's honestly what Virgil would have wanted. And I editing this has been one of the most fun things I've done since getting into sneakers. And I can't wait to see what happens next.